folks, Dr. Freedom here with the Times of Dr. News. There's some men around the universe that may or may not amaze you, astound you, confound you, and make you go, oh, yeah, 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 oh baby. Um, yeah, just a few nifty things going around this week, nothing big and major. Of course, the usual bull crap floating around where, you know, people are attacking each other on social media because they conflict with their opinions. But, hey, ain't that like Twitter and Facebook in a nutshell these days? But what intrigues me is you have people who obviously don't like Jody Whitaker, who are joining Jody Whitaker fan groups to complain. And everybody asks them the same question. What are you doing here? But of course, we know the answer. They're getting the attention they didn't get from their mother and father. But okay, let's get to the thing. Let's get back to the stuff that really matters. Here we go. First off, on top of the deck, Doctor Magazine is out this week. Here's the free digital preview of it. I'll bounce you these links in the description box so you can take a quick glimpse, see if you want to run out and pick this up. Boom, ain't this cool? Tom Baker on the cover. Damn, damn, damn. He always looks spectacular no matter what era he is in. As you can see, here's a bunch of stuff going on. The brink of disaster. Well, we all know what that is. <laughs> okay, so... Let's keep moving. All right. So now over here on Futurism, the Timeless Children has opened up the possibility for a Gallifrey spinoff. Please no. And this is why I'm telling you please no. I am sick to death and tired of prequel series. Nobody seems to be able to come up with anything new or original anymore to go out and create new television series of their own. Heck, come on, look at, we found out Star Trek Discovery is basically based off tardigrades, right down to the basic characters. But of course, the courts will never acknowledge that. But I'm just sick to death and tired of people, instead of moving the story forward or creating something in new inventive of their own, constantly going back into the past of what subject matter to hop on it. Now, of course, you know, they're, they're saying that, you know, the whole Tech Tayun storyline and all that opens this up and blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. Fans have always complained when anybody does anything that involves the past to Gallifrey just about. And it's like, why do a spinoff there? There's so many great ideas that they could be doing that is set in the contemporary era. There are so many people who are willing to do it, but it seems like the BBC just doesn't want to, especially since the failure of class. Oh, but that's a whole other story. We won't go into that, okay? That'll take weeks. But, okay, now, a lot of speculation still running around about Captain Jack going on. And let's take a good look at this photo. Then we're going to go to here. Somebody put this up over on Medium, and it's obvious clickbait. It really is. Because nobody has a synopsis for Revolution with the Daleks. Nobody. The BBC hasn't put one out. None of the official, official affiliates have gotten one. But here you can see how they cleverly do the title to make it look like it is. But it's not. The Doctor with Captain Jack returning confronts the Daleks. And then it goes into a bunch of recap. And then it says, okay, it's titled the next special episode. Scheduled to either the end of 2020, early 2021. No, duh. And then it gives the tag. Oh, that's the see, all little new tagline. And it goes into the Daleks. See what I mean? And now casting for the episode reveals John Barrowman will reprise. No, it doesn't. We, we don't have a cast list for Revolution of the Daleks. Or at least, you know, at, at least not one that John Barrowman's name is on. At least nobody I know. Because it would be screaming all over the internet if they had an official cast list that included Barrowman's name. What's being used is this. Now, remember, back during the time they were filming Revolution of the Daleks, which was filmed with the rest of Series 12, they were doing all these nifty little clips for, like, Instagram, you know, and all that, and YouTube, you know, for the fans and all that, where they had all these little contests between the cast members and other little nifty things like that. So this is being filmed during Revolution of the Daleks, which was filmed well after the time that Fugitive of the June, June was filmed. It's, it's in a whole other filming block, if memory serves. I'm going off the brain noggin here. Yet look who's standing in the background. Blue pants, light blue shirt, dark blue suspenders. 
could this be Barrowman? Because there would be no reason for him to be there in costume. You know, considering all his stuff for Fugitive of the Jadoon had already been filmed months before. So that's what's leading to this speculation that Barrowman is in it. There's been no confirmation. The only thing we have is a grainy photo, and I don't know if anyone's been able to enhance it at all, but it does look like Barrowman, but we can't be sure. All right. Kate Lethbridge Stewart appears in a video for the, you know, do Doctor Who immersive experience called Time Fracture. This will be an immersive experience which opens in London in February, and it's added a video performance to the adventure featuring, of course, Gemma Redgrave as UNIT's Chief Scientific Officer, Kate Lethbridge Stewart. All right, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. She says, former Chief Scientific Officer in this video okay so here's a little bit of a synopsis stuff like that's going on and it says her created by the team behind the great gatsby you, you know the uk's longest running immersive show doctor who time fracture is a part of the time lord victorious the new multi-platform doctor who story so this is all going to tie into that apparently this will run from february 17th to april 11th of 2021 Tickets are available from the website if you're, if this is for the London, UK area. It's not going to be worldwide, you know, that I know of. I haven't heard anything like that. So moving forward, it turns out, yes, there was a reunion between Matt Smith, Karen Gillen, and Arthur Darvel online. And of course, you can no longer watch this because it's gone. Probably not after being stolen uh, by about 50 different channels that have no affiliation with the BBC, but you're going to see it all over YouTube and they're going to get massive hits, but they won't be hit by copyright strikes. It's just amazing to me, you know, it's like, it's, you know, they're getting back together after all this time because guess who's the big winner out of all these three? Darville didn't do too bad, but, you know, come on, what's the last biggest thing he did was the first two seasons of Legends of Tomorrow, which, by the way, as far as I'm concerned, went right down into the shitter after he left. Um, I'm not kidding. Story-wise, it hung on there for a little while, and now it's just a chaotic laugh-fest mess that I'm shocked is getting renewed after what it did. Karen Gillan, of course, making big, fat, mad Marvel slash Disney money between you know her appearances in, you know, in Guardians of the Galaxy, you know the Avengers movies, not to mention, of course, Jumanji, on you know, the next level, which turned out to be a big, fat, massive, gargantuan success. She is riding the wave. And then there's her poor guy she leases the pool house to. Oh, sorry. Um, let's keep moving forward. All right, Dr. Doctor Digital Trading Card Game is coming soon. Uh, apparently, Doctor Who Worlds Apart is launching with Reality Gaming Group. It's a brand new Doctor Who digital trading card game coming to your PC in 2021 with a mobile version to follow. Fans will be able to collect and trade digital versions of their favorite characters for the first time before adventuring through Doctor Who Worlds Apart game as the Doctor, battling friends in turn-based contests. So, the Worlds Apart players will have own unique digital collectible items which can also be used in the game or traded with other players. The first digital cards will appear in October this year. Sign up for the mailing list for Worlds Apart at their website right there. Here's more details if you want to get into it. Um, I was never a big fat, you know, like I said, I tried Magic the Gathering, things like that and all that. Just didn't capture my fan fancy. I'm sorry, is this, if I'm going to sit down and play a role-playing game, it's going to be more, it's like, come on, it's like, you're just playing high tech Uno for crying out loud. It's like, it, it, that's what it is to me. So, you know, if you're into this kind of thing, there you go. All right. Could David Tennant be starring in the new Netflix you know, series of you know, Neil Gaiman Sandman? It's speculation at the moment. Plus, keep in mind, Tennant keeps busy, busy, busy between his own podcast, Scrooge McDuck, and everything else this guy is doing all the darn time. It would be nice if he did play a part in it. But this is not confirmed either. It's just saying, could it be, you know, that he is? And guess what? BBC Studios is looking for the next generation of series creators. Now, the Writer's Workshop gives writers the chance to develop their own original drama series with the help of acclaimed screenwriting expert and drama producer John York and pitch that series to some of the British television industry's top executives. Selected writers will give them the financial and editorial support to write a pilot script and a miniseries Bible over the course of six months. Throughout this process, writers will have access to a series of lectures, workshops, and networking opportunities 
with leading writers and key industry figures designed to give writers a head start on becoming a commission winning series creator. This is kind of a nice little thing they got going out there, you know, for you folks who are on the creative end, especially, you know, if you're way younger than an old fart like me, maybe this would be something that'll tickle your, tickle your fancy. Maybe you should go look into it, see if you can apply for this. But I know some people who won't apply for it, all the people who are bashing general, because heaven forbid they should try to do something better because they can't but that's just me i'm an evil bastard okay uh, let's keep moving forward sorry i got a little snarky it's just as i told you ever since we came back from the covid you know, lockdown look like i keep telling people it was may 18th of this year and the only reason i remember that's because 40th anniversary of the eruption of mount st helens and Ever since we came back, not even a week and a half, I think it was, from the time we started back at work, we've been on nine-hour days. And then every now and then they're throwing in nine-hour Saturdays. So my work schedule has been very, you know, basically 45-hour weeks with the occasional 54-hour week thrown in. And they've already scheduled a buttload of them before I'm allowed to finally go on my vacation shutdown, which was supposed to have been the first two weeks of July, and it's now the first two weeks of October. Oh, yeah, there's a time to go traveling. Uh, but sure, it's Halloween season and all that. Maybe I'll get a little antiquing down there. But, well, but you see what I mean is I haven't been able to keep you know, video, putting videos up as regularly as I like. Now, like I said, if you really like what you're seeing here, please like, share, and subscribe. I don't put any money into this YouTube channel. I never have. It's grown on its own, and it's because of you, the viewers. Where I think of me as like, the PBS guy of like YouTube because so far I've never dropped an inch of money into promoing this channel. I do it all on my own kids and I really need you, the viewers help if you want this to keep going. Um, all I can say is this, if it weren't for all the likes I get, and all the great comments I get on this channel, I would have probably quit a long time ago. And at least I can say that to the haters. Like, yeah, you got more subscribers, but at least I'm not using spewing hate just to make some cash. Oh, well, take care, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you on the flip side. Freedom out, kids.